Hi all, Brandon here from Ruji Networks. A few years ago, about two years ago, I made a video demonstrating how to create different groups within your project to segregate your SSIDs for a network. So today I want to make an updated video to show you that it's more simplistic to create different groups in order to segregate your SSID. So first of all, we'll start off with my network topology and we'll see that I have currently three access points within my network, here they are, um, and we will now move the outdoor unit into a separate group uh, with its own SSID that can be displayed. So the way to do this is you wanna go to home, you wanna click on project management. Once you've clicked on project management, you will see all the groups that you have here. So this is under BBCC home, or house, we will click there and we will add a device group. So within this device group, you can give it a name. You can say outdoor unit and we can say, okay. Now the group has been created. Now, if we go back into the project and you go to devices, you will see some of um, this one access point, for example, is already in a separate group, but the rest of the access points all belong to the main group. So before I move it, I just want to show you something here. So we go to device config, SSIDs. Within SSIDs, you will see that I have my three different groups, not my main group, my secondary group, and my third group. So if I click on the new group that I've created, it will list all the SSIDs that were pulled through from the main um, project which is BBCC house so in here if I only wanted to display the one SSID this one for example I can now go and delete these and now you will see only this one SSID will be remaining but if I move back to BBCC house you will see all the SSIDs will still be here so my indoor access point will still broadcast these SSIDs and then my um, outdoor AP will only broadcast this one SSID. So now that I've got my SSIDs and groups configured correctly, we will go to devices. Under devices, we will go to the access points. You can do it from either all or here. And then we can click on this access point and we can say move. So from here, we can select the outdoor unit. We say, okay. And then we say, yes, I want to move this device. And then we just wait for this device to actually complete its sync. And then this will be successful. So in my initial video, it was a bit more difficult. We went, we had to log into the local device, create AP groups there and then split them. But with this method, with our new cloud, um, cloud layout this is much more simplistic so we are just waiting for this access point to finish syncing while we wait for it to sync i can maybe show you what i mean if we go here we go to ssids it is done you will see it is only synced one broadcast ssid here and that broadcast ssid is a uh, free wi-fi just a kind neighbor and that is the one that we want it to actually display. Uh, whereas if you click on my indoor access point and we go down to SSID, you will see it has three. So it has the BBC Home, BBCC Guest, and the free Wi-Fi that's being um, broadcasted within that access point. And then the same with uh, this access point, for example. If you go to it, because it has its own different group that was created uh, previously, you will see that the SSID is just paste. So that is the more simplistic way of doing it. Um, it is really not much to it now. Very easy um, to, to complete. So if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments and I'll try and address them as soon as possible. Thank you. Goodbye.